Tivo touch. Um, we spoke about it in that too. So, you know, people mm, that mm. didn't burn the bridge, you know, and that's something to learn from. And if you could just highlight there, as an older brother, Abdisbu, somebody's listening to you and they're about to burn the bridge at work. I think it's <laughs> also the mistake that we make the fact that as soon as we hear that a public figure was fired, mm. we just assume would I make sure be yeah something it was a must have puff and a blow the house down exactly yes, exactly you know and just walk us through that process because as you're saying it I know I'm a bridge burner that's what I do <laughs> <laughs> I specialize in burning the bridge <laughs> you know so I'm listening to you and I'm like oh man I need that lesson yeah I need to learn how to do that you know so walk us through that this life thing. Um, is a long journey. Mm -hmm. Somebody who's my age who's 45 years old, they're still very young. You can still see our leaders in parliament, how old they are. So you can't burn bridges. Yes, in the beginning when you're young, you will burn bridges. But sooner or later, as you keep on living this life thing, you learn that um, it's not the best decision to burn mm -hmm. a bridge. Even if they treated you badly, mm -hmm. even if they frustrated you, and you know that you were good at your job. Mm -hmm. Even though maybe there was issues that you had to go through, whether it was racism, whether it was bureaucracy, whatever it might have been that frustrated you or even that caused you to even get, end up getting fired or to end up leaving or resigning, don't burn your bridges. You never know. You never know what's mm -hmm. going to happen tomorrow. You never know. So, So, in Pilo, in Jalo, Uzo, uzo tamilu mtunzu, uzo shala pansu mtunzu elangu. 